Guys, this is just a quick run and gun video. Uh, we are going to be doing a steam valve adjustment here. This is uh, one of the valves that we recently installed as part of a, an upgrade project. Uh, this valve has just a little bit of leak through on steam. Uh, that is something that commonly does develop on new steam valves. Once you install them, after they have been in service for a brief period of time, you do need to go back and readjust them, recalibrate them, and make sure that they are closing off properly. That's what we're going to do with this one. The way that we accomplish this is very easy. You can see the adjustment here. What we will do is loosen the jam nut, and then we will be able to back this off slightly which will push that stem a little further into the valve body and close the valve off make it just a little bit tighter these are something that are a very reliable valve it is just something that is commonly needed to be done as part of the uh, process particularly when you install new valves this is uh, you know it's something this that just that slight weep one thing it is doing is elevating the hot water temperature uh, greatly. I mean, it's it's exceeding where it needs to be. Uh, and especially currently, we are in a warm period, and the uh, there is a lower demand for hot water, so it's only making the problem that much worse. You can hear a little bit of flow through there. And what we're gonna do is make our adjustment first thing you want to do is to override the position to zero. You want to make sure that the system is commanding the valves completely closed. Once you get the jam nut loose, one thing you can do is to run it all the way down to the top of the stem and that can help you in making sure that you do not turn that stem. You can take your other wrench, put it on here and actually help to keep that from rotating because it's only going to go so far and you will rotate this until you feel the tension on this. As you're backing that down, it's gonna push that further into that valve. Uh, you may wanna also loosen these two bolts here that hold this in place. It's just clamp pressure as far as this linkage. You can just loosen those and make it a little easier for you to turn. So what we're gonna do now is actually adjust this down until we have just the right amount of tension on this valve. After making your adjustment, be sure to put that jam nut back in place and snug it against the adjustment. Some older controls, there can be a residual voltage in the DC control of a volt or two which can affect the function of the valve also. One thing you can do to help overcome that is change the setting on the actuator itself from a 0 to 10 to a 2 to 10. Now there are some systems that are designed to work 2 to 10. If you have the ability to change the programming, I would recommend that you modify the programming and take that to a 0 to 10. And even then, I've seen some older controllers where the residual voltage would keep the actuator from closing off completely. And by switching that to the 2 to 10, that problem would be eliminated.